everybody rapture's delight here so i made a comment on westminster's channel uh i'll put the link in the description about how social media is necessary for accountability and correction and it basically functions like a, a council like the ephesian council or the jerusalem council where uh, accountability and correction take place if you're familiar with church history, there was the Jerusalem Council. Uh, I don't know when it was, maybe 50 or 60 AD. I'll put that in the link below too. And the last get-together of the church leadership to try and come together in unity and theology was the Ephesus Council, or the Council at Ephesus, and that was in 431 AD. Now, if you know your history, the Roman Catholic Church came to power, and that was like the main thing from 600 AD to maybe uh, 1500 AD. So for almost a thousand years, there was no council, there was no reformation. It wasn't until Martin Luther and the Protestant Reformation took place that there was a consensus and a shift away from false teaching into truth and true religion and true worship now ever since the protestant reformation we now have uh 40,000 to 45,000 christian denominations with all of those different leaders and leaderships and uh groups there's never going to be another reformation there's never going to be another jerusalem council there will never be another coming together to do away with false teaching and theology and to have unity so in this day and age of the digital town square and people's sermons and teaching and prophecies being on social media, the only way for the body of Christ to effectively self-police and self-govern is also through social media. And when there's a consensus of truth and a unity in what is right and what is godly on social media, it is effectively functioning as a Jerusalem council. And it's the only way we will have such in this day and age. So when Wake Up and Win says, don't stay silent about IHOPKC abuse allegations, that's really getting to the heart of the matter. As the body of Christ, we have to judge ourselves. As people who proclaim to be leaders in the body of Christ and apostles and prophets, like Mike Bickle and James Gall and Todd Bentley before he was disgraced and proven to be uh, whatever he is. The only way to hold these people accountable and to function as a healthy body of Christ is to come together, rebuke false teaching, rebuke uh, teachers and preachers and pastors who are not approved and need to be disciplined. Without this functioning of the body of Christ and without social media stepping in and people speaking out this really wouldn't even be happening at this happening at this time so that's what i mean by uh social media is the modern day jerusalem council it's the way in which we hold people accountable so god bless you if you need healing may god heal you and i'm sure hoping that this allegation and scandal isn't as bad as it, as it is but let the truth come out as Wake Up and Win says, let the wheat and the weeds, the wheat and the tares rise together so we can clearly see which ones they are. And hopefully this will be a learning opportunity for the body of Christ and hopefully something good and uh, great can come out of it for many people. So God bless you and see you again.